You guys know how much I love you? I love you enough to come home after working on set for 12 hours and do a review on this damn trailer. You better appreciate. Trailer Trash! What up guys, I am Kyler Wilson and this is Trailer Trash. So, the trailer is Magic Mike XXL. This is another case of a film I just didn't think was gonna get a sequel. Why might you ask? I said, why might you ask? Troll? Troll, where are you? Hmm, I, I guess he thought that there was no way Magic Mike would get a sequel either. Okay, well, fine, Mo moving on. I thought it wouldn't get a sequel because I figured there was no way in hell that anybody went to the movies to see this. But... I was wrong, and apparently the Schwartz is strong with Channing Tatum because this movie was made for a whopping seven million dollars and grossed almost two hundred million dollars worldwide. That is what we call knocking it out of the park with bases loaded. So this trailer kicks off with a bunch of shots that really don't mean anything out of context. Channing Tatum's working on some stuff, and then the trailer's flashing words at us, letting us know something's coming. Then we come to a scene where a dude is dancing in a convenience store. Now, I'm not trying to call this movie out for product placement, but I just want you to look at this frame real quick. There are at least nine product placements in this one shot alone, up to and including this lone 12-pack of Mick Ultra sitting on the third shelf of the rack. If they were going for a euphemism here, I would say that they technically succeeded, but euphemisms are also kind of supposed to be funny, and this was not funny. So in Kyler's book of euphemisms, this one failed. <laughs> you know how I just, I literally just read an article today about how six pack abs are out and pooches are in? I'm not even joking. They did a poll and chicks are saying they dig dudes who are kind of slightly out of shape. They're calling it the dad body. And they say that they prefer it because it's so comforting and real. So, sorry Channing. Tool. Tomorrow, start the pilgrimage to Myrtle Beach for the convention. So apparently they're going to travel to some convention and compete in something. By the way, if I come off as maybe uneducated and I'm not picking up on certain cues that might relate back to the original story, it's because I didn't watch the original story. So... I wish we had known you guys back in our day. Well, I'd say it's still your day, man. <laughs> that dude's getting laid in the next 60 seconds. If this really is our last ride, what if we make up some new routines? Okay, so is this a dance movie? Just with hanging schlongs? What are we? Well, like healers or something. Yes, man. Oh, yeah. You know, the preview said they were gonna leave out the best parts. And I'm totally down with that. I don't like trailers ruining my movie. My only question is, why did they only put in bad parts? Oh, yeah. Kevin Nash's face definitely looks at me and says, Women want me. Okay, do I really need to do takeaways on this one? Okay, okay, takeaways. There was a Magic Mike one, and somehow, someway, it did great in the box office. This movie will be rife with product placement. Which isn't really all that shocking, but from this preview alone, I'm saying that it's gonna be like Transformers 4 rife. This movie will probably make a bunch of dick jokes. Which is kind of funny, because when you look at their target audience, say 13 to 25 year old females, they don't really like dick jokes. At least not in their movies. Apparently this is a dance movie, but with theoretical dicks. Kevin Nash is not the embodiment of what a woman wants. Oh, and dad bods are in, so in Magic Mike 3, the cast is going to be made up of 30 year olds with beer bellies. Trailer trashed. If you even need to ask what my recommendation is concerning whether or not you should go to the theater, you need to find a different show to watch. That being said, what will you do? Theater? DVD? Netflix? Or TBS. Or bonus option. Never. Never.
Make sure to let me know in the comment section below, and as always, make sure to do like thing and subscribe thing and share us with a friend, because the goal ultimately is to spread the word about movies and let people know we exist. We want to grow. If you don't, Dragon's going to come eat your firstborn, so, I mean, I don't, I don't want your firstborn eaten by a dragon. Just, just let people know we exist. Deuces. But Kyla. Hey, troll. You suck. That'll do, troll. That'll do. Trailer Trash!